what's up guys this time vlogging from kolkata well you haven't been to kolkata if you haven't relish the best street food in the city the city has got some super delicious and lip smacking street food which is going to delight your taste bud by thirst I'm inspired by worth I desire your worst so you can just hide while I work I ain't tired you first I'll write a second third verse about the lies you go disperse you never did I know it hurts but something deep inside won't let me fried snacks and you will find everything from brinjal fries to fried fish egg chops to mutton chops and all of these sells out in a couple of hours kalika mukhro chok tele bhaja a 50 years old shop in college street has made its name of selling the best tele bhaja in the city garya hat and feli place are other favorite destination for the bengali's favorite tele bhaja Ghugni chaat is a popular snack food in Bengal. It's made of dried white peas and chopped tomatoes, potatoes, onion, green chilies and tamarind chutney. Combined with tangi masalas, tetul gola, mashed potatoes and broken papris, puchka is simply heavenly. The filling of the puchkas include mashed boiled potatoes whose taste is further increased by black salt, spices, tamarind pulp and chili powder. Among other Kolkata street food, the papri chaat, dam alu puchkas and dahi puchkas are to die for. You can find the best puchka in Vivekananda Park, Garya Hat, College Street, Southern Avenue and Triangular Park areas. Well, quench your thirst with dark pani which is sold in every corner of the street. Kolkata is also known for its fresh and regenerating sugarcane juice available all days. If you are in Kolkata, your Kolkata street food experience will be incomplete if you don't have the kachori, the kachori or radha pallavi in Gangurams. If you prefer tea over coffee, then head to the Tiwari Brothers for some special chai and hot piping samosas. The Tibetan cuisine has always been a favorite in Kolkata and Rabindra Sadhan Metro exit is one of the best places to have these amazing dumplings. Kolkata chow mein can beat your average maggi any day. It's Indianized and then a further Bengali tarka is added. So it's spicy, tangy and totally delicious. and moreover the stalls that sells the dish is everywhere so just walk out and get some kolkata special chow mein beside these kesi das girish chandra de and nakur chandra nandi are worship places for mishti when it comes to kolkata so guys plan your trip to west bengal and get the vibrance of this eastern state and grab a bite of the best street food served right here with this this is shamila signing off see you in my next video till then bye bye, bye. <laughs> always good to meet your subscriber bye, bye. thank you bye bye, bye, -bye.